Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's the end of another year. It's the end of 2023 and I thought that I would do my top 10 action figures of 2023. So you can see I got quite a few G.I. Joes out here, so probably going to be overloaded with G.I. Joes on my top 10. But let's just talk about them for a minute and let's get into my top 10. All right, so I see, you can see that I got the CoverGirl action figure in front of me, but it doesn't have the head on here. And this is kind of like not my top 10, but it's an honorable mention just to get us started. The whole design was good. It did have faulty arms, but it was easily fixed with some UV glue. And with a simple head swap, this has become one of my favorite uh, figures for um, filling in in the background. You can see that I have the Marvel Legends Kate Bishop head, and then I also have this uh, Spider Woman, I think, is the head on there. Pretty much, I think it looks really cool with the leather jacket, uh, with the shirt, uh, the belt, all the equipment that it came with. And I think that this is a solid, uh, pretty good all-around figure. Um, I just did not like the head swap. So that's why that didn't end up really on my top 10, but it is the honorable mention to get us started. All right, so this one is my number 10. This is the Range Viper. I think I really like everything about it. The color combination, I think he pops. I think the helmet is fantastic. I think the exposed brain matter. I think this guy looks super cool and really ominous. And for like a villain, I think that one is awesome. That's why he is my number 10 action figure of the year. All right, so this is my number nine action figure of the year. This is the updated uh, Firefly. I think he looks really cool. He came with a remote control car. He came in with his pack with the mines and stuff like that. He came all decked out. He was a little bit loose out of the box. There was a little bit of QC issues, but I don't take some of that stuff into consideration when I'm thinking the design of the figure and the way they look. I think he looks fantastic. I think this is exactly what I was looking for when the original Firefly came out. And I'm really glad that we got Firefly updated. And this one is fantastic. So number nine for 2023. All right, so my number eight figure is kind of weird because um, I didn't think I was going to really like this dude at first. But then once I got him and got him out of the pack, I realized just how universal this figure was. And it is super cool. He's got like a boatload of accessories. I think he's just basically your all-around everyday uh, army builder filler figure. I do wish that maybe the name tags were like uh, interchangeable or something like that, or they had a couple of different options, but I think that's fine. You can always just scratch the name off if you wanted to, but I think having a few of these in your collection is actually really cool. And everything about this figure is actually really neat. I really dig it. This is my number eight pick for 2023, Grunt. All right, so this is kind of an interesting pick for my number seven for 2023. This is Chuckles. I think he looks really cool. I think he has the interchangeable heads, you know, the one with the black eye. That's the, how I always have him posed. I think this looks fantastic. As you know, Valiverse tried to do their own sort of version, the Covert Ops Condor. And, you know, when you set them side by side, you can just tell that the G.I. Joe Chuckles is outclassing that figure 100%. But anyways, this guy is number seven, and he is a really great figure to have in your collection. All right, so this is going to be kind of weird because you're going to go, what do you do? You got four figures up there. This is supposed to be your uh, number six pick, so which one is it? If I had to pick one of these, of course, it would be Shooter. I think this one actually looks really cool. I think it's totally decked out, right? I think with the multiple heads and stuff like that, this one was uh, is probably one of the coolest Joes that came out this year. I did want to show off Helix, though. She didn't make it into my top 10, but I think, like, right up there, I think it's super cool that you got a couple of really cool good guys and these two cool bad guys, which were the Valkyries. So I uh, wanted to show those off. In addition, I wanted to show off another honorable mention, which is this Marvel Legends Black Widow figure, which did not make it into my top 10, but I think it's super cool because it's super posable. But the thing that... I liked about this is it came with three different heads and you can see what I did was I put one of the heads on my Valkyrie figure here and um, I do use this head sometimes for swapping out and doing photography 
and doing something like this so that you can have like an extra figure maybe in an old military outfit to fit in with the G.I. Joes and stuff like that. G.I. Joe Classified Series uh, characters are really nice, but this one is my number six. This is Shooter, and I think it looks fantastic. All right, my number five is another G.I. Joe Classified Series figure. It is Tripwire. I can, you could not go wrong with this figure. He has a ton of accessories, looks fantastic. Uh, if you saw my video, what I did was I put the Hawkeye, the Jeremy Renner head on here and did like um, uh, the Hurt Locker type of setup. He came with two full outfits, so you can basically have somebody in a second bomb disposal. He's got the high guard and stuff like that. He's got this like detector. It's a super cool figure, and um, you cannot go wrong with uh, some of these deluxes, and Tripwire was no exception. He is my number five. All right, my number four figure of 2023 is G.I. Joe Snow Job. And that's right, I actually wanted this guy since they announced him. And my plan has always been to get a second one and paint it like a light bluish color and make this like a blue outfit and turn him into kind of like a version of that 12 inch G.I. Joe. Um, search for the Yeti. I think it looks really cool. This is kind of one of the closest that I feel like it gets to those original Joes with the the beard and everything like that. I think this guy looks fantastic. He came with a boatload of accessories, which were his skis and his snowshoes and all that kind of stuff. And I think for a snow figure, this is fantastic. But you know what? We also got this guy along with him. Uh, it came out around the same time. So we got both of the snow figures, which is pretty cool. And um, But Snow Job is definitely my number five. All right, so this is my number three. Can you guess which one it is? It is not the Cobra Eel. It is not this, like, uh, uh, Cobra Trooper with the outfit. It is not this Black Widow figure with a scuba gear. It is Torpedo, but it's not just Torpedo. So I have Torpedo geared out with some equipment from Gridiron Studios. A little bit of an upgrade. And I think with this gear pack, I think he looks fantastic. And he looks just like what I would have expect from a diver. He's even got his like scuba pro fins on and stuff like that. This guy is phenomenal. Um, so what I did was, I'll just show you what I did to kind of give myself a whole diving group. So I was able to take uh, Torpedo's equipment and give it to this Cobra Trooper, which gives him the ability to uh, be an additional underwater villain along with the Cobra Eel, which actually looks fantastic with his helmet and his gear. He looks incredible. And then of course I had originally got some different gear from Gridiron Studios and I ended up just giving it to the um, Black Widow figure, and then, of course, with that head swap on there, and then we got a second kind of Joe Diver. So that's my dive team, but my number three action figure for 2023 is Torpedo. All right, so <laughs> interesting how my top two figures are not going to be G.I. Joes. My number two figure for 2023 is the Indiana Jones figure. And you can see that I got him with this Gridiron Studios loadout too. I swapped out the pistol, holster, and um, whip. The whip's a little bit more uh, usable because it's a wire so that you can like actually pose it in mid-snap. Now I know the... Um, uh, the I know the articulation on this figure is not the greatest in the world, um, but the fact that it's an Indiana Jones and it looks fantastic, looks just like the way I imagine Indiana Jones looks, I think he looks cool. I think when you have him posed up there, I think when you put him with other figures, it's iconic. And if you're an Indiana Jones fan like me you were really looking forward to these indiana jones figures and it's too bad that they didn't offer a whole bunch of uh, world building figures for this line but anyways it does not stop the indiana jones from being my number two figure of 2023 all right so this is my number one pick for 2023 and of course it's the gray hulk uh, i've been like super excited to get Another Grey Hulk in my collection. I got plenty of Hulks in my collection, but this one just looks fantastic. I love the face sculpt on it. The dude looks incredible. And anyways, um, 
fully articulated, just like uh, the other Hulk figures, you know, where he's got like the butterfly joints and stuff on the back. So there's no holding this guy back when you want to pose him. And the face sculpt update has just been been fantastic on this guy. So anyways, he is my number one pick for 2023. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. That is my top 10, mostly G.I. Joe figures, except for Indiana Jones and the Grey Hulk, which take the top spot. It's interesting to me, though, how a Marvel Legends head pops in and the Marvel Legends figure pops into my top 10 to sort of take some honorable mention spots. Uh, we do have, of course, the honorable mention, which is basically the lower half of CoverGirl with a head swap, which makes this figure 100% better when you do a head swap. But there were great figures out there all year long. We missed Rock and Roll. We had General Hawk. We had Scrap Iron. We had a whole bunch of figures that we didn't mention in this top 10 because they didn't quite make it up into my top 10. But let me know which ones would have made it into yours. I'd really love to hear which ones you would have picked over my picks. And as always, everybody, have a fantastic day.